Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Lantern 295 QB. This is an awesome quad bunk model, perfect for the family. You have a big super slide here with a sofa and a U-shaped dinette as well. Let's start off on the kitchen though. So, cool thing about this is if you take a look at the countertops, it's actually a seamless countertop. It's like a, what they call a thermal formed countertop. That way you don't have any tea molding or anything popping off. And it also allows you to undermount the sink, which gives a much cleaner look. You'll see the sink itself has a larger bowl on the left, smaller on the right, which is exactly what you want for washing and rinsing dishes. High rise faucet there as well. Moving over to this side, you will see the recessed cooktop with the glass cover, so that way you can utilize this as prep space. This just folds up and back, kind of doubles as a backsplash there and opens up the three burners. The knobs here do light up if you so choose, you can turn them off otherwise. The oven, you'll see here in case you'd like to do some baking, and this same knob controls the light in the oven too. Right underneath, you can see storage there, so that's decent sized storage, you know, a lot of times uh, you don't get that much underneath the oven, and you have plenty of room here for a trash can. If we take a look at the backsplash, the backsplash itself is kind of cool. You have the gray subway tile right there. And over to this side, you will see you have an electrical outlet as well as a dual USB port. Then there's also some storage right there, so you know if you have any additional items, that is a great spot for them. Your control panel is right up here on the side. Obviously, you have everything you need there as far as your uh, water heater, lights, tank monitoring panel, slide out, storage going across the top right here as well, microwave, and then your uh, fully functional hood here with a light and a fan. A little bit of storage up above the refrigerator. Open this guy up. This is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. So uh, plenty of space in here. As you can see, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Making our way back a little bit, you will see the thermostat right here on the wall. This does control the ducted AC as well as the ducted heat. The heat ducts in this unit, by the way, are running the floor, which are great because it allows for a lot more even heating. The bathroom is right over here to the side. Foot flush lever toilet here. I'll take a seat just to kind of give you an idea of space. So it is a little tight for me. Uh, you know, you can see my toes are kind of touching the tub. As far as the shoulders, it's kind of touching uh, on both walls here. But if you're, you know, I'm pretty wide in the shoulders. If you're smaller than me, you uh, will probably be just fine. You can definitely, you know, get your business done. You'll also see that you have a space right here, access to the plumbing underneath, nice big countertop, electrical outlet there, mirrored medicine cabinet up top with storage behind that. It'll also take a step in the tub shower here just to kind of give you an idea of height. So I'm six foot. As you can see, I have a little bit of space. If you're taller than that, you know, you're 6'1", 6'2", you may have to bend down, but uh, otherwise you'll be fine. You see you have a hand wand here too to make showering a little bit easier. And of course, there's a vent fan up top to uh, help dry everything out or get some smells out of there. Right here in the back is the quad bunk house. So you'll see you have the two bunks right here on the camp side. Both of those have dual USB ports, so if the kids have electronics they need to plug in, they can do that. Both of them also have an LED light and a window. You'll also have a, a shorter bunk right here across the, across the back. Again, LED light there, and then underneath you have the two cube sofas. If you want TV in here, you have hookup for it there, so you can basically you know, just kind of set a TV there. A little bit of storage underneath that, as you can see as well, and then an open cubby hole right down underneath. Coming right out of the bunk room, you have good extra storage. You can take a look here. You have a couple of uh, drawers there. You also have this big storage space there. So this kind of gives you, you know, a spot to put the kids' clothes or maybe like an extra linen closet. You know, if you need to use it for pantry, you can do that too. Just gives you a couple different options. And then in the slide itself, as I mentioned, this is a super slide. So what you'll see is the big U-shaped dinette. This is awesome when you have a big family. You can easily and comfortably sit four people around here. You know, maybe a couple more if you have some people, uh, maybe sit Indian style, you know, the kids, something like that. But you'll also see that it creates a very large bed. If you drop this table down, you can easily accommodate two adults here at night. And then it is lit underneath. You can kind of see that accent lighting there as well, which is pretty cool. And the one side has easy access storage with the swing open door. Right next to that is your tri-fold sofa. Cool thing about a tri-fold is all the storage you get underneath. You can see that right there. So you can lift it up just like this, or you can see this one also has the knob here, so you can pull it right down just like that, a little bit easier to get into. This does fold down into a bed. The armrests here are removable. 
or if it's just the two of you that are sitting here, you have the drop down armrest, so it kind of creates almost like a pseudo theater seating. Big windows on the slide here as well to let in a lot of natural light during the day, LED lights at night. And if it's a rainy day, you have the entertainment center right here at the foot of the bed. You can see uh, they put a backer in the wall so you know exactly where to mount the TV. Connections over on the side right here. Also has an accent light, just kind of looks pretty neat. And then you have your multimedia setter right underneath. This is a radio and CD player, controls the speakers in here as well as outside. It is Bluetooth capable and it's also a DVD player. So you can put a DVD in there, use the ORCA cables here to plug into the back of the TV so you can watch a movie. Here in the master bedroom, you'll see the queen bed right in the center. As you would expect, there is storage underneath for some of your larger items. And on both sides of the bed, you have a nightstand with a pull-out drawer. You'll also see the electrical outlets and dual USB ports there. Right up top is your mirrored wardrobe with the hanging rod going across, a shelf connecting the two. And if we take a look at the foot of the bed, you will again see that that same backer right there can be used on the other side if you want a TV in the bedroom. The connections for that, of course, are on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Lantern 295 QB. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So instead of having to manually crank it up and down, you simply flip the rocker switch here. You'll also see there's a light up front for some added visibility at night. Right behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with your cover. And a little bit further back, you see the rails there for your battery. Coming up the front right here is diamond dutch plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And if you take a look at this sticker right here, it shows this one does have a three-year structural warranty, which is currently the best structural warranty in the industry. Right around on the side is solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it right into there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. The pass-through here is a magnetic latch, so you can put it up just like that. You don't have to worry about the kids coming by, ripping it down, and breaking any plastic clips off. And if you take a look inside that pass-through, you will see how big and open that space actually is. Same size door on the other side. You can see the big, wide entrance here. So if you do have, you know, some larger chairs, grills, things like that, you're able to fit them in there. Power awning on this RV, just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you have an LED light strip on there so you have light at night. You'll also see your two outside speakers. As I mentioned inside, those are controlled by that multimedia center and that unit is Bluetooth capable. We take a look right down in front here. You'll see this one has power stabilizer jacks. This control right here controls your front two jacks. There's another one that controls the rear two. So you have a power tongue jack, power awning, and power stabilizer jacks really making setting up and tearing down this RV quite simple. Another great addition is this right here, which is the solid step. Uh, if you haven't seen these before, they're fantastic. You don't get that springboard feeling when you're walking up and down them like you do on the traditional fold-out steps. You'll see you can also adjust the feet to the campsite so it's nice and level. And this one has aluminum treads, so that way they won't rust out on you. There's grip tape on there as well to help you get some traction when entering or exiting the RV. Electrical outlet right out here in case you need to plug anything in. And underneath something you can't see, but this one does have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, which will not only help keep out, hopefully, some of the rodents in the off-season, but also uh, help keep it a lot cleaner. You're not getting all that road grime in there, and it'll help keep things a little bit toastier underneath. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have city water connection, you want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank, and that is where the inlet for it will be. Easy lube axles there to make maintenance a little bit easier for you. And if we pop back up, you will see black tank flush right here. So instead of having to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, take that same hose, hook it up right here. There's black or there's sprayers built in that black tank to wash out whatever gets left behind from the gravity feed. Right next to that is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And right here in the back, again, it is magnetic. You will see an additional storage area. So not only do you have the big one up front, but underneath the rear bunk here, you have this storage area as well. As I mentioned, right here is your control for the rear two stabilizer jacks. And coming around to the back side, you'll see this one has a square tubular bumper with the end caps, which gives you a great spot in which you can store your sewer hose so it's not riding around any of your other storage areas. Up top in the center is backup camera prep. Having the prep is great because it means it's already pre-wired, which means it's an easier installation. So if you choose to have one installed, it will save you money on labor. Coming around to the side here, you'll see the cable inlet located right there. A Little bit further up, your 30 amp power cord, just pop that open, you can pull the cord right out, plug it in for shore power. 
city water inlet right next to, right next to that. And if we drop down here, you will see your termination with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Lantern 295 QB. If you're interested in this bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.